I have a, an unplanned video for today, an update for the garden. It's the 7th of April and we've had some forecast warning of snow and I wasn't too worried because we get snow every once in a while, it's not a big deal, but it's snowmageddon outside and it's kind of scary, all the snow in just uh, one short day and I have a lot of seedlings in the ground getting used to the weather and some of them have been affected by a little bit of transplant shock. I'm not too worried about temperature, it's not as cold outside and I have um, a lot of cold hardy crops in the ground like um, kohlrabi, peas, uh, broad beans, rutabaga or sweet. So I'm not too worried that they will freeze. I'm worried that the weight of the snow might break those fragile seedlings. And um, I covered them with fleece. Maybe you've seen my previous videos. And the fact that they have fleece doesn't really allow the snow to just gently fall around the plant. It falls on the fleece and presses down the plant. And I don't know if they'll recover from that. I hope I'm just par being paranoid and anxious, but I'd, I'd rather be anxious than <laughs> lose an entire crop of plants. So what we're gonna do is go outside and check them and maybe try to uh, lift to the fleece without breaking it and remove some of the weight of that snow because in a couple of days we're going to have really hot weather and all the snow will melt but I'm just not willing to wait until then so let's see what we've got outside How crazy is this? Seriously. Oh my god. Okay, I wanted to show you the, the seedlings, kohlrabi seedlings. We uncovered all this snow and I was afraid that some leaves might break because of all the, the snow and pressing down, but um, they're doing okay and I think I'm gonna leave them uncovered so that the snow can fall all around them and protect them. This little guy got chewed by some slugs and I think it's, it's too late, but the rest are gonna make it. Some were broken though. Oh well, we'll see what happens. See, this is new growth here in the middle and these are the old leaves that got shocked from the transplant. And the rest of the beds are just, like, the snow is up to my knee, almost. They're just unidentifiable. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> well, at least it's pretty. <laughs> I have uncovered some of the peas 
as well. Hope they'll make it. You have no choice, little guys, because it's too late in the season for me to sow anything else. I have peppers waiting for me inside. Oh, please make it. Yeah, you'll be okay. So that was it for today's video. I wanted to film this for those of you who garden in a mountainous area or a cold climate. Although this can, this year has proven to us that it can happen anywhere, really. And just hoping the plants are going to pull through because mid-April is way too late to sow anything else. They won't be ready by the time peppers and tomatoes go in. Yeah, so don't lose hope. Uh, check them, maybe cover them with uh, hoops and um, fleece or if I if I would have had hoops then uh, the snow wouldn't have pressed on all the seedlings but I'm really hoping that the roots are already established in the ground and that they will grow new, new leaves. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.